Welcome back to the Hot to Best Daily Pick Show for Wednesday, April 13th. Back with some more NBA action for today. We got night two of the play-in tournament and looks to be a couple more great games. Quickly, though, looking back to Tuesday's card, at the moment, the Cavs and the Nets are just entering the fourth quarter. Nets have a sizable lead. The Cavs are, are you know, within striking distance of the cover, but I really don't have a whole lot of hope for them. They haven't looked great this entire game, um, so more than likely a loss for our Cavs bet there. Hopefully, the Timberwolves can at least take us to one and one for Tuesday's night's picks, but um, we'll see what the results are there. Obviously, check the community tab here on YouTube, Twitter, and hottobest.com to see the results for those games. But without further ado, let's get into Wednesday's picks. <laughs> the first game we got the hornets taking on the hawks hornets 43 and 39 on the season the hawks are also 43 and 39 Hornets the 16th overall team in the hot to bet rankings. Hawks come into this game at the 14th overall team. Both these teams finished the season off with some wins. Hornets wins in their last three games, you know, finished it on a hot streak. The Hawks end up getting their win over the Rockets to finish out their season. And as far as these two teams playing each other this season went, it was about as dead even as you can be. Overall, they split the series two and two against the spread two and two. They both won one at home. They both won one on the road. So not a whole lot of, you know, <laughs> lean as far as, you know, the season series went two very even teams in that regard um, and as far as injuries go not a whole lot to report for either one of these teams at least nothing new for the Hornets Nick Richards is questionable with a hand injury going into this game um, Lou Williams questionable with a back injury for the Hawks but the only two guys that are you know of real any question for this game as far as the Hornets have gone though they've done a really good job shooting the basketball this season Mile Bridges leads them with 20.2 points per game LaMelo Ball right behind him dropping 20.1 points per game and overall as a team the Hornets you know have been one of the better shooting teams in the league this season like to score some points 54.4 effective field goal percentage 36.5 percent for me out in the arc and hitting 74 percent from the free throw line but the Hawks have you know been right there with them two of the better shooting teams you know left at the moment the Hawks um, led by Trey Young dropping 28.4 points per game Bogdan Bogdanovich also dropping 15.1 points per game for this Hawks squad and overall they have done a good job shooting the basketball as well 54.3 effective field goal percentage 37.4 percent from beyond the arc and hitting 81.2 percent from the free throw line and the Hawks are going to have the slight advantage on the offensive side of the ball in this game but albeit not huge second in offensive efficiency for this Hawks squad while the Hornets are sixth on the offensive side of the ball Hornets do get the slight edge on the defensive side of the ball while be it not a huge one again um, 24th in defensive efficiency for the Hornets the Hawks 26th on the defensive side of the ball so really this team is going to be some points um, in the over maybe a play not much of a totals guy but it's going to be an offensive heavy game for sure two very good offensive teams and two teams who have quite honestly struggled a little bit on the defensive side of the ball um, but one area that i really like about this hornets team is the turnover department they do a really good job holding onto the basketball and as well as forcing their opponents to turn the ball over the hornets only turning it over on 11.4 percent of their possessions sixth best in the league in that category now the hawks also do a good job not turning it over they're actually the best team in the league in that category only turning it over on 10.7 percent of their possessions but as good as they are on the offensive side of the ball the hawks have certainly struggled defensively to force turnovers the 28th worst team in the league when it comes to forcing turnovers only forcing an 11.5 turnover percentage while the horn is forcing a 13 turnover percentage the sixth best in the league in that category so you know like i said these two teams offensively very very even give the slight edge to the hawks defensively pretty even as well i would give the slight edge to the hornets and i think because of that and how we saw the matchups go in the regular season i think this is going to be a very close competitive game i have a hard time laying points with either one of these teams in this game and really i think the hornets on the road are able to keep this one close i think the hawks you know because of their lack of defense really struggle to pull away in this game even though their offensive has been great the Hornets are also going to be shooting the ball well in this game and I just don't think they're going to be able to build much of a sizable lead in this one so give me the Hornets plus five here against the Hawks and now looking over to the second game of the night, the Spurs taking on the Pelicans. Spurs 34 and 48 on the season. The Pelicans are 36 and 46. Spurs, the 21st overall team in the hot to bet rankings. Pelicans come to this game at 20th in the hot to bet rankings. And both these teams 
they had some struggles down the stretch of the season. Spurs lose their last three games of the season after going on quite a bit of a run. They were something like 7-1 and one before those final three games. They kept those three games close. It's not like they got blown out by any means, but losses nonetheless. The Pelicans also lose their last two games um, of the season. We look back to the first four meetings of between these teams this season. Spurs end up winning and covering in three of those meetings. So, you know, getting the slight edge there. Um, as far as injuries go for this game, um, the Spurs, Romeo Langford is probable with his hamstring injury. Injury. Lonnie Walker is questionable with a back injury for the Pelicans. Brandon Ingram probable with a hamstring. Herbert Jones and Giannis Valkunas are both questionable for this Pelican squad. And those injury reports for the Pelicans certainly give me some concern, especially going into the playoffs. You know, their, their top two guys scoring wise showing up in the injury report is not exactly what we want. Obviously, Brandon Ingram probable for this game, you know, and it's huge because he drops 22.7 points per game for this team this season. Giannis Valkunas also dropping 17.8 points per game. You know, like I said, he's questionable. So going to be interesting to see how that plays out for the Pelicans in this one. And as a whole, as a team, they haven't necessarily been the best shooting team this season. A 51.7 effective field goal percentage, 24th in the league, 33.2% from me on the arc. There have been good from the free throw line hitting 78.9%, but overall, certainly nothing special when it comes to shooting the basketball. Not to say the Spurs have been a much better shooting team, uh, but DeJounte Murray, you know, with him being healthy and back in the lineup is certainly huge for the Spurs team. 21.1 points per game for him. Kendall Johnson also dropping 17 points per game for the Spurs squad. And they've been ever so slightly better than what the Pelicans have done. A 52.7 effective field goal percentage, 35.2% from beyond the arc, and 75.4% from the free throw line. And offensively, the Spurs do get the slight edge in this game. 17th offensive efficiency coming into this one, while the Pelicans are 20th on the offensive side of the ball. Spurs also get the slight edge on the defensive side of the ball, 15th in defensive efficiency compared to the Pelicans, who are 19th on the defensive side of the ball. And, you know, this Spurs squad... I've had trouble with them understanding what kind of team this is and what they really want to be. Um, but they've been decent and quite honestly, they've been slightly impressive at times this season. You know, their shot defense has, has been not bad, you know, holding their opponents to a 53.2 effective field goal percentage and 36% from beyond the arc, out edging the Pelicans in both categories who are giving up a 54.7 effective field goal percentage and 36.5% from beyond the arc. And quite honestly, it's another one of those games where in my mind, it's just too many points, even on the road, even in a, a playoff situation, this Pelicans team has really been struggling. They got some question marks, um, you know, with, with guys being probable and questionable. And even if they end up playing, which I'm kind of assuming they will be playing because without them, I, I would expect this line to completely go in the other direction, but um, I'm still not sold on what this Pelicans team has been able to do. The Spurs team really feels like a team that's getting hot at the right time, which is a, a strange thing to say on a team who's on a three game losing streak. But before that, that they were looking like a solid team um i think murray gets this team going i think offensively he puts up some points for this squad keeps the spurs in this game and i don't think they're going to get blown out by the pelicans in this spot so i'm taking the spurs plus five and a half here against the pelicans and that is it for Wednesday's NBA show. Now, if you want to see more sports betting action for this week, head over to hot2best.com. Take a look at all the computer model picks up on the website. Got MLB, NBA, NHL. Got the UFC card coming up this weekend. So definitely take a look at all of that. Also, follow the Hot Tibets main account on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok to stay up to date with all the computer model stuff over there. Also, follow my personal account at Hot Tibets Chris on Twitter and Instagram so you don't miss out on any of the stuff I'm putting out. I got a dog of the night for both the UFC and Bellator this week. So you can check that out on twitter instagram as well as here on the youtube video you can go take a look at those videos and last but definitely not least if you are watching here on youtube hit that like button subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future content and most importantly drop a comment down below let me know who you guys are betting on for today's nba card and thanks for watching today's show i will see you guys tomorrow <laughs>